Ukrainian army soldiers conducting a military operation in Russia's Kursk region have intercepted and targeted a building where the drone operators of the Russian army were stationed. The building was struck twice by US-made JDMR aerial bombs, distinguished by their high accuracy. As a result, a strong explosion occurred in the building. Most of the Russian drone operators in the building were killed. It should be noted that guided JDMR aerial bombs can be launched from MiG-29 and Su-27 aircraft belonging to the Ukrainian Air Force. President Volodymyr Zelensky called for decisive actions from Ukraine's partners on Monday, especially in light of reports about North Korea's new role in supporting Russia. Following a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Lloyd Austin, in which a new $400 million aid package was announced, Zelensky said that, it is obvious that Putin fears peace, which is why he is looking for ways to escalate the aggression and involve North Korea on the front line. The latest American aid package comes just days after the U.S. said it was sending $425 million in military assistance to Ukraine. But Zelensky has asked Ukraine's Western allies to go a few steps further, notably inviting Ukraine to join NATO and letting it use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russian territory. Those steps have met with a lukewarm response. We need особливо на тлі інформації про нову роль Північної Кореї у підтримці Росії. Очевидно, що Путін боїться миру і саме тому шукає, як посилити агресію і залучити на фронт тепер і Північну Корею. Для усього світу це очевидний сигнал. Хто хоче, тільки війни. Ми маємо пам'ятати, що Курська операція забезпечує стратегічну мету. Війна – має повертатись на території, звідки вона прийшла. Це справедливо, коли буферна зона створена на території агресора. І також Курська операція дозволила Україні зробити більш активну роботу щодо обмінів, повертати наших воїнів з російського полону. The leaders of India, South Africa and China arrived in the Russian city of Kazan on Tuesday for a meeting of the BRICS bloc of developing economies, defying predictions that the war in Ukraine and an international arrest warrant would turn Russia's President Vladimir Putin into a pariah. China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi and South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa were greeted by an honor guard and platters of Russian delicacies when they touched down at Kazan's airport. The BRICS alliance, which aims to counterbalance the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but is expanding rapidly. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others have expressed a desire to be members.